Okay, I'm going to do a review on this um, Chinese cutter. Um, it's uh, let's have a look. It's 50 millimeters across, or a couple of inches thereabout, and it's got four carbide inserts. Um, I have used this already without a great deal of success, um, largely due to my machine I think. My machine is uh, it's only a, a small mill and um, it's not really up to it on what I was trying to use it for so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a, a run on some lighter material, I'm going to try it on some aluminium rather than some hardened steel which might be a better um, choice for it really but um, I still think it might be too big for my machine but anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna do this review and uh, show you the results and, and tell you what I think of it at the end it's a uh, it's a non-sponsored review by the way I um, I bought this with my own money so um, I don't have to be nice about it if I don't want to but uh, let's give it a bit of a test and see what happens Right, let's give that a bit of a try, see what it does to a bit of aluminium. was at um, 600 RPM apart from the uh, gumminess of the aluminium sticking to the surface it's not too bad let's come back let's do another light pass let's set that up uh, let's come down quarter of a millimeter see what happens there. Same speed, but put a bit of lube on it first. So doesn't it? There's some lube on it. I can still, I can feel the the groove. So, right, let's set it down another quarter of a millimetre. There we go. We'll up the speed this time. I've upped the speed to a thousand RPM. That's a thousand RPM. It's a better, it's a quite a very nice surface finish actually, very nice. Okay, let's uh, bump it up a bit more. That's 1500 RPM which is the fastest my machine will run at. I'm going to slow the uh, feet per minute speed down and uh, take a pass on that.
Mm, that's not so good. Not so good. Seems like a thousand RPM on this machine is about right. Because the problem is now, now it's spinning a lot faster. I think I'm getting some vibration in the cutter. So I'll cut that back to a thousand. Try another pass back the other way and see what I think. That's very nice, very nice. So for this particular machine and this particular cutter, um, I don't know what the feed per minute feed rate is, but for on aluminium, about a thousand RPM is about right for this cutter to give a nice finish. Well, I've got a piece of steel in there now. I know it's bigger at this end than that end, so we'll start off on this end. We we'll start off around about so no, around about 500 RPM. set that a bit slower actually. Um, set it down another 100. And run it a bit slower. It's about 400 RPM. Too bad. Let's let's go a bit higher in speed. Let's go up to something like that's about 850, 900 RPM. Right, let's get out of there. That doesn't like that. Doesn't like that one little bit massive amounts of chatter. Let's try a slightly higher speed, see what happens. Right, let's get out of there. Right. We're about 300 RPM now.
not too bad. I think we can quickly establish that um, it's not going to be brilliant. All right, 250, that's quarter of a millimetre now. About as slow as the machine will go in feed rate and in RPM. That surface is just riddled with chatter. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this quite deep now. I'm going to take it down and try and take a, a millimetre off because I know uh, carbide tips essentially run better the deeper the cut, but I don't know if the machine will be up to it, to be fair. Right, this is going to be a one millimetre cut. Let's see how that works out. something explodes I think well actually the finish is not too bad but you can see the the, the, the further we're getting into the cut the more chatter we're going to get. So, conclusion. I think my conclusion is it's not for me. Um, if you want to hog out a big lump of aluminium, in fact, we didn't try a big depth of cut on that aluminium. I think the most we did was about half a millimetre. So, let's get the aluminium back in and try a deep cut on it. Now if you ran this on a, on a big machine, something like a, a bridge port, then it would probably just plow through there, piece of cake, so I'm only giving my opinion on based on this machine. Alright, that's a one millimetre cut at 600 RPM. Surface finish is not too bad. That could have done with a bit more lube, actually, because the last little bit where I put some lube on, it um, it went okay. So I'm going to I'm going to do a two millimeter cut now. This is going to test it. But 
but then the carbide works well at deeper cuts. Alright, let's move on. Keep the same speed, which is about 800 RPM. depth of cut yeah that's, that's warm and and you can feel ridges in it so the conclusion is run at about a thousand rpm taking a millimeter at a time off of aluminium it's a useful tool but apart from that I think it's going to stay in the drawer right let's get this mess cleaned up the cutters, four of those. Um, I might have a go at making one of these, a smaller one, but maybe about an inch wide instead of two inches because two inches is just too much for the machine. This head is separate from the arbor so I could probably uh, just make up a new head with just two cutters in at about an inch wide. Maybe that's a project for the future. Yeah, I think I might have a go at that. Watch this space. That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.